to our first process so the first row now is become 1 2 3 0 1 0 and the second row is 0 1 2 1 0 0 so this third row is as it is 3 1 1 0 0 1 right now <coughs> what should be the next process this is our leading entry 1 right below that leading entry here already 0 right but here the last element of the first column we want make 0 so that's why we multiply the first row with minus 3 and add into the third row right we multiply this first row with minus 3 and add into the third row so this elements become 0 right so that is our next process <coughs> we multiply first row with minus 3 and add into the third row so you can see the first and second row are as it is right there is no change in first and second row 1 2 3 0 1 0 and 0 1 2 1 0 0 right so the first and second row are as it is but in third row <coughs> what should be the third row 3 minus 3 0 then 1 minus 3 into 2 1 minus 3 into 2 that is minus 5 1 minus 3 into 3 that is minus 8 right so that's why 0 minus 5 minus 8 next is c 0 minus 3 into 0 that will become 0 0 minus 3 into 1 that is minus 3 and 1 minus 3 into 0 that is also 1 so here you will get uh, 0 minus 3 and 1 so 0 minus 3 1 okay next process <coughs> now you can see this is our leading entry below that leading entry now we have 0 in the second row this is our leading entry and that is already 1 right if here don't have 1 then we have to make here 1 right because we we want there 1 right because uh, if you want to make identity matrix then all the leading entry all the diagonal elements must be 1 right so but uh, here already one so now in the next process uh, this in the next process we multiply second row with uh, minus 2 and add into the first row so that's why here become 0 and the second row with multiply with 5 and add into the third row so here also make 0 right <coughs> so the next process we multiply second row with uh, 5 and add into the third row so that's why the second row is as it is right so you can see 0 1 2 1 0 0 0 1 2 1 0 0 the third row become now you can just uh, multiply second row with 5 and add into the third row so 0 this is 0 10 5 into 2 10 minus 8 that is 2 5 into 1 5 minus 0 that is uh, 5 right uh, then 5 into 0 minus 3 so minus 3 5 into 0 plus 1 that is 1 right so the third row is now 0 0 2 5 minus 3 1 okay <coughs> next process is we multiply second row with uh, minus 2 and add into the first row so that's why uh, the first row become 1 0 see uh, we multiply second row with uh, minus 2 and add into the first row so 0 into minus 2 plus 1 that is 1 uh, 1 into minus 2 plus 2 that is 0 2 into minus 2 plus 3 that is minus 4 plus 3 that is minus 1 1 into minus 2 plus 0 right that is minus 2 and 0 into minus 2 plus 1 that is become 1 and 0 into minus 2 plus 0 that is 0 right so this is a new matrix <coughs> now you can see in the first column uh, this is our leading entry below that leading entry we have 0 in the second column uh, this is our leading entry 1 right below that and above that in both the element 0 now in the third row <coughs> the leading entry is 2 but we want here 1 so that's why we divided the third row with 1 by 2 uh, with 2 right with third row we multi multiply third row with 1 by 2 so you can see the first and second row first and second row are as it is the third row become 0 0 1 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 1 by 2 okay so that is our <coughs> next process now see here one in the third row we have one and we want here zero 
above that above that leading entry we we want here zero right so that's why we multiply third row with minus 2 and add into the second row and we multiply uh, third row with 1 and add into the first row so just uh, add uh, first and third row right in and make that value in the first row so <coughs> next process we multiply third row with 1 and add into the first row so what will be the element you can see from this matrix the third row is as it is right uh, first of all uh, <coughs> we multiply third row with minus 2 and add into the second row so that's why uh, 0 1 0 right this matrix is now become identity matrix this whole matrix so whatever the changes is in this matrix uh, the effective changes right so the multiply third row with minus 2 so 5 by 2 into minus 2 that is minus 5 plus 1 so that is minus uh, that is minus 4 you can see here minus 4 correct next uh, minus 3 by 2 multiply this minus 3 by 2 with minus 2 so you will get 3 plus 0 uh, so you get 3 okay then multiply with this 1 by 2 with minus 2 and add into the second row so that's why 1 uh, by 2 into minus 2 is minus 1 Plus zero, so minus one. So here is minus one, correct? So the second row is now minus four, three, minus one. This is already zero and zero. Uh, the now we multiply third row with uh, one and add into the first row. So you will get here one zero zero. It's quite easy to understand. Next is uh, multiply five by two with minus with one. So just uh, add these two elements minus two plus five by two. right or just try to understand 5 by 2 minus 2 you will get <coughs> 1 by 2 5 take lcm so 5 minus 4 by 2 you will get 1 by 2 next is uh, <coughs> 1 minus 3 by 2 so you will get minus 1 by 2 and then 0 minus 0 plus 1 by 2 you will get 1 by 2 so this is our inverse of the matrix <coughs> this is our identity matrix And this is our inverse of the given matrix so a inverse is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 4 3 minus 1 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 1 by 2 and that is equal to uh, just take 1 uh, by 2 will be common so in the first and third row become now 1 minus 1 1 uh, we have to multiply with 2 here so that's why minus 8 6 minus 2 and then uh, 5 minus 3 1 so this is our required inverse of the given matrix right here the complete the solution the next question <coughs> prove that the matrix a is a hermitian uh, <coughs> we ha we have to prove that the given matrix is a hermitian matrix and i into a right i into a is a skew hermitian matrix that we have to prove here right so here just uh, missing the whole question but just try to understand that <coughs> you, the question is prove that the matrix a the given matrix is a hermitian matrix right and i into a is a skew hermitian matrix that is a question and this question ask in 3 marks <coughs> now what is the meaning of hermitian matrix first of all just try to understand hermitian matrix is first of all uh, here is a complex matrix right so some of the elements are complex number and some of the elements are real numbers first of all we have to we have matrix a right we have to find the conjugate matrix a bar call it a bar now what is a conjugate matrix what is a conjugate number if a plus ib is a complex number then conjugate of that complex number is a minus ib so just you have to uh, change the sign of the imaginary part the coefficient of the imaginary part right so we know that the conjugate of a plus ib is a minus ib and what is the conjugate matrix if a is a matrix square matrix then what is the conjugate matrix a bar that is the we have to change in any uh, if there is any complex number in the given matrix in that place we have to write down the 
complex conjugate right in all the places so that is the conjugate matrix and then transpose and then transpose of the given matrix right that is called a star right the transpose of the conjugate of the given matrix or the conjugate of the transpose of the given matrix both are same right if you can understand properly that the transpose of the conjugate of the matrix or the conjugate of the transpose of the matrix this two part are same right so if a star that is transpose of the given matrix that is equal to a then we can say that a given matrix is a hermitian matrix right and the similarly if a star is equal to minus a then we can say that a is a skew hermitian matrix okay so just try to understand what is a hermitian matrix we are trying to prove that the given matrix is a hermitian matrix so that's why we first of all uh, find the conjugate of the given matrix so see now <coughs> see the question this is our matrix 3 cross 3 matrix you can see some of the numbers are complex number and some of the numbers are real numbers right so here is the conjugate of the given matrix so the real number are same right minus 172 in the diagonal elements must be same but the complex number c 2 plus i become now 2 minus i 5 minus 3 i the conjugate of that complex number is 5 plus 3 i so this is 2 minus i become 2 plus i this is 5 i so minus 5 i uh, 5 plus 3 i so this is 5 minus 3 i and minus 5 i so this is 5 i right so this is exactly the uh, con conjugate of the given matrix now we have to transpose the given mat this conjugate matrix so that is uh, transpose of the a bar you can see the first row the first row is mi minus 1 2 minus i 5 plus 3 i that is now first column minus 1 2 minus i 5 plus 3 i the second row is 2 plus i 7 minus 5 i 2 plus i 7 minus 5 i and the third row is 5 minus 3 i 5 i 2 so 5 minus 3 i 5 i 2 right so <coughs> so a transpose a star the equal to a this is our a star right the transpose of the conjugate matrix a star is equal to a so a is a hermitian matrix right that we prove now the next question is we have to prove that i into a i dot a so we have to multiply all the matrix all the elements with i i dot a is a skew hermitian matrix so this is our i dot a see multiply all the elements with i so minus i right uh, 2i plus i square now what is i square i square is minus 1 so that's why we will get minus 1 plus 2i here minus 1 plus 2i then 5i minus 3i square now i square is already minus 1 so minus minus become plus now so 3 plus 5i here see right then 2 minus i that is 2i minus i square so minus minus 1 so that's why we will get 1 plus 2i here then 7 into i 7i 5 into i into i that is 5i square that will become minus 5 i square is minus 1 then 5i plus 3i square that is minus 3 plus 5i minus 3 plus 5i then i minus 5i into i that is i square is minus 1 so that's why we will get 5 uh, <coughs> here and then 2 2i correct so this is i into a we multiply all the elements of a with i so that's why we will get i into a Th call it b call it b and now we want to prove that b star is equal to minus b that means the transpose of the conjugate matrix b that is equal to minus b so here first of all just trying to find uh, conjugate of the given matrix just find conjugate of the given matrix we will get i the minus i become i minus 1 plus 2 i that is minus 1 minus 2 i 3 plus 5 i become 3 minus 5 i uh, 1 plus 2 i that is 1 minus 2 i 7 i become minus 7 i minus 5 is minus 5 is as it is minus 3 plus 5 i become minus 3 minus 5 i and 5 is as it is right 2 i become minus 2 i okay <coughs> now transpose the given matrix transpose uh, this b bar so i minus 1 minus 2 i that will become i minus 1 minus 2 i 3 minus 5 i that is first row that is exactly now first column you can see right the second row become second column and the third row become third column now you can see the this matrix the transpose of the 
conjugate matrix B that is exactly the minus B when we, when we multiply this matrix with minus 1 you will get this matrix correct you can see this is I I this is minus I so this is I okay this is minus 1 plus 2i so this is 1 minus 2i this is 3 plus 5i so you will get minus 3 minus 5i then here 1 plus 2i so minus 1 minus 2i this is 7i here minus 7i this is minus 5 here 5 this is minus 3 plus 5i so here 3 minus 5i this is 5 minus 5 and 2i then minus 2i so you can see the new matrix transpose of the given matrix b uh, transpose of the conjugate matrix b that is exactly the minus b that we prove right so that's why b is equal to i into a is a skew hermitian matrix okay so here to complete the solution of this question the next question show that the set v of all pairs of the real numbers of the form 1 x with the operations defined by 1 y plus 1 y dash that is equal to 1 y plus y dash and k into 1 y that is equal to 1 k y is a vector space this question asking 5 marks so <clears throat> first of all try to understand the definition of vector space to to prove that the given set is a vector space what we have to prove we have 10 conditions to become a vector space right the first five conditions are for vector addition and the next five conditions are for scalar multiplication right uh, the first one is closerness first condition is closerness right second condition is commutative law third condition is associative law fourth condition is identity exist identity must be exist fifth condition is inverse must be exist and the <coughs> next five condition is uh, are for scalar multiplication so in that conditions also closerness associative uh, distributive law two laws are for distributive law and the uh, then uh, associativity and identity right uh, 1 into u that is equal to u so if this 10 conditions are satisfied then we can say that the given met, uh, given set is a vector space and uh, in to prove the given set in this question to prove uh, the given set is a vector space <coughs> we cannot take normal addition and scalar multiplication just see we have to use this addition and this scalar multiplication using this addition and this scalar multiplication the given set is a vector space that we have to prove right so you can see first of all try to understand the set we have set of uh, pairs right set of pairs means this set is a subset